Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. It's a fall day here in the Appalachian Mountains, and today's topic is going to be best beetles. These are amazing beetles that make great instructional tools for teaching kids about insects. Or if you're an adult and are just fascinated by insects, this is a really cool one to find. And they're really easy to keep at home. So this episode is going to be all about best beetles and seven fascinating facts and why they're so interesting and why they make a great first insect for learning about insects. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Why are best beetles the best teaching insect? Well, they're big and they're burly and they're easy to see all their parts. You can hold them in your hand. They don't run fast. They don't bite. They don't sting. And they're not going to jump out of your hand and fly away. So they're great hands-on kind of insects to put in the hands of a grandkid or your son or daughter or even an adult that's interested in insects. And they're just the perfect insect Best beetles can be found across North America in rotting wood like this. You can see that there's been some activity here. Best beetles prefer some of the hardwoods, especially oaks and maples, and are usually found just underneath the bark surface on logs that have been down for about two years. Why are best beetles so engaging? Reason number two. They will live as adults for up to a year and a half. So if you want to collect one for your classroom or to keep one for a while with your kids or just to have one as a pet, you can easily keep them by putting them in an aerated container with some rotten wood in it, keep it out of the sun, keep it damp, and there you go. And they're going to start eating that wood and feeding happily on it. You can buy a store-bought plastic terrarium with an aerated top, or you can make one of your own. You can check out my video on how to make bug boxes and terrariums, and you'll see the link here below. Reason number three why best beetles are so cool. They're the ultimate recyclers. They eat decaying logs in the forest that have biomass locked up as very difficult or indigestible cellulose and lignans and they start to break that down along with fungi and other decomposers so they play a critical role in recycling logs and dead parts of trees back into soil they're great they don't bite they're not a pest species they'll eat only decaying wood so you don't have to worry about them eating your house like termites might they are the ultimate recyclers. Reason number four these guys are so engaging. They're actually social insects and they have families inside these logs. When we think of social insects, we usually reserve that category for things like ants and bees that have a very advanced social structure. Most beetles and other insects don't have a family life per se. They'll lay their eggs and then go away. But best beetles lay their eggs, the male and female will stay them. And when they hatch, both males and females will give their offspring digested food to kick off their digestive systems in those larvae and continue to help feed them. And they'll even get to the point that when the larva is ready to pupate, they will help build that pupil case. So these insects are very social, work together as a family unit, take care of their offspring until they become adults. It's really, really unusual in, for beetles and most of other insects besides bees and wasps. Reason number five, why are best beetles so cool? Well, they talk. They can make more than 14 different kinds of sounds as they communicate with each other, or they may make these sounds to startle a predator. So fascinating insect, many different sounds, many different meanings to their sounds in the social network of their family. 
Here's an example of some of the sounds best beetles make. Funny best beetle fact number six. Best beetles eat their own poop. Cellulose in wood is nearly indigestible. So best beetles will carve that up with their jaws, make it into essentially sawdust, poop it out, or you can see in these little pellets that make up frass, and then eat it again. And while they've been pooped out, different species of bacteria and fungi will release enzymes and start breaking that down. These microorganisms also get into the beetle's gut to help them continue to break the cellulose down into absorbable nutrients and sugars. Last reason, or fun fact number seven, best beetles have many names. The first name, best beetle, we think may have come from the French word baiser, which means to kiss, because when best beetles are making this sound, it silent kind of sounds like a kissing sucking sound. They make this sound by a process called stridulation. Stridulation is where insects make sounds by rubbing body parts together, a leg against the wing, or in this case with the best beetles, a wing against some knots on their abdomen. Best beetles are aptly named patent leather beetles because they're so shiny and black like old patent leather shoes. This smooth, slippery, shiny surface helps them to move through little channels they make in the logs. They're also called peg beetles because if you see them in a log head first with their abdomen sticking out, they'll look like a black peg in the log. And another name for them is a horned pacellus because they're in the family Pacellidae, and you can clearly see that they have that horn here. Supposedly, this horn is to help them defend against predators and turn over other beetles from a family outside of their own. So if you're interested in learning more about best beetles, you can go out and find some. If you're a teacher or a grandparent or a parent, or if you're a kid and want to find them and keep one as a pet, they're pretty cool to have and they're easy to take care of. If you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and remember, I cover all things nature, from amphibians to reptiles, wildflowers to trees, fungi to insects. I try to cover all the things that you might find when you walk just outside your door. So thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.